DIY portable mini spot welder machine, 18650 battery, various welding power supply. So we're back on eBay and we're looking at these spot welders, right? So I purchased this one on June 23rd and it arrived on July 8th. So, um, you know, another 15 days we're getting spot welders in. Uh, $23 for this here spot welder from uh, Shan2392. All right, so let's go look at this spot welder and see what all it has to offer. All right, so we can see here this little button. There's a picture up here on your left. That's the on-off switch. Uh, mine didn't come with a little rubber thing for the end, but that's fine. Works just fine. Uh, you can see the display screen here. So you have your two, your up, and your down. That changes the E rating. See the little on the display, the E, 05E. Your button on the right, that's for changing it from manual to automatic. So I guess there's a place on here where you can add a foot pedal or some type of switch. But here's the wires. There's 10 gauge wires with the leads. So it comes with everything you need except for the battery. So the features, wide selection of welding power supply, lithium battery power supply, or 12 volt car battery. The board uses two goosey, goosey copper to increase the overcurrent capacity has five 300 amp MOS tubes. The 10 gauge wire is very flexible. I do not believe that it's copper. It's not copper. It's tin copper at best. Um, and it has a 25 volt, 10,000 10, microfarad high frequency low resistance capacitor added to the power input for energy compensation, which increases welding stability. So yeah, so the package is content one controller, two pieces welding pin, two piece power input line, red and blue wires, the 10 gauge, and one pair of U-shaped cold press terminals used to connect the power input. Several heat shrink tubes used for the power lines. You see it has on there DC nine to 12 volts. All right, so let's go into looking at what, what we can actually do with this spot welder. All right, so let's talk about what we got here. So this is what, this is what this welder came with. Now this is supposed to be, it says 10 gauge, 200 C wire. And as you can see, it is very tinned. You almost can't see the copper in there, right? And 10 gauge, not a lot there. And so you're supposed to have 300 amps go through here. Well, let's make that a little better, right? And it's all about amperage. Twelve oh six. So whenever I charge this up, uh, you know, it'd be able to set the voltage to you know, twelve volts and only charge it up that far. All right, we're connected. All right, so we're gonna bring this down and we're gonna start at about level twenty. So see what it does. We have our input voltage right here, twelve point one, which is that's what we. I got that with my uh, multimeter, it was 12.09. Uh, All right, so I think we're gonna be very surprised on what this welder will be able to put out. So that's why I'm starting at 20. All right, and since we're here, I'm just gonna show you this. Uh, this was me playing around with this last week. Uh, you see this burn mark right here? Yeah, there's the, the red from it, from that line right there. And I don't know if you can see that, but can you you can see through those holes it burnt this thing there's two holes there and these two pieces of this is 0.15 and this is something from a laptop so that's probably as well 0.15 uh, so this welder is very well capable of doing some spot welds so so knowing that fact we're going to go ahead and jump right into 0.15 by eight millimeters we're gonna see just how scary we can get oh I wasn't ready for that yeah look at look at that that is that is a proper spot weld I wasn't even pushing in on it and that's just at 20 
That's at 20. Alright, so it came up pretty easy. I just, you know, just pulled it. But look at this. Look at the holes in the spot weld. Like I said, this is 0.15. This is unlike any other spot water that I've come across on eBay for 28 bucks or whatever it was. I mean, that was just 20 uh, joules, I guess. If you go by, like, what the, the K-Weld does. Look at that. Let's try it again. This time won't squeal out like a little girl. <laughs> just just burning that hole in the mat. Just <laughs> that that scared me, and so I just wasn't sure what we were gonna get. All right, here we go. I'm lifting as a lever. All right, so let's go up to 30 and see what we get. All right, 30. Contact. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that was better. I can tell in first person, I can tell that it's on, it's, it made the, uh, the weld marks are a little better. Well, let's go let's go on up let's go let's try 40. all right we're at 40 e contact look at that you can see the discoloration around the around the uh, contact point where it got hot which creates the weld so for all you guys out there on a budget i'm telling you That one just ripped. Remember, this is 0.15. All right, I'm gonna pull. Yeah. And we're gonna go up to 50, see what it does. Man, did you see that? Shucks. That thing's hot, the whole thing got hot. Yeah, that's legit. Okay. So we found a new king in spot welders. Or cheap, cheap spot welders. All you guys out there, I'm telling you, this is it. This is good. This is good stuff. And that was at 50. And that, that I, that's probably too hot. Let's see if 50 is too much for a battery. Man, such a good spot weld. Here and here. See the uh, we get more, we get some more discoloration where the uh, nickel strip heated up. Yeah. Cool. All right, so on to the next one. Let's see if we can spot weld these uh, these tab batteries together. So these batteries were dropping down in voltage, I believe. So this one was 2.8, 1.4. Let's see what we got. Ooh. All right, so these two batteries are dead. Let me see what this one is. Yeah. All right, so these batteries have bad internal resistance. So we're gonna see if we can spot weld them together. Get these as close as we can. All right, so we got these snugged up here so they don't move. And let's see what we can get. So that's not working on the on the copper side. All right. So let's go up. That was at 50. We're going to go up to 70. 70 E.
Well, it didn't work. It wanted to. Let's take it up to 90. All right, 90E. Put your eye goggles on. Yeah, these are getting warm. The leads are, yeah, they're getting toasty. These are hot. All right, well, let's go all the way to the top. What's the top? All right, the top is 99. I see some discoloration in the pin tips here. All right, let's see what we got. Alright, so welding these lipo cells together, that looks like it's going to be a no-go. On the aluminum and the, and the copper side. Yeah. Ah, crap. I still have to try with the K-Weld and see if, the, if it'll do it, because I've got some 120 amp hour LG pouch cells. And I really don't want to have to build connecting blocks to them. Let's see if we can get... Nickel strip. You know, let's get some fresh nickel strip here. So let's try the aluminum first. See if we can spot weld through it with the or spot weld the nickel strip to it at least. Damn, that's hot. Yeah, that might not be. That was a little too strong. It actually punched a hole through the aluminum. Maybe that's the. Maybe that'll be the way I connect my cells. Yeah, it absolutely melted the aluminum. Look at that. Melted the aluminum right off the tab. Melted it, but it made it like it, the aluminum coated the inside of the nickel strip. Let's see what we can do with this. Cause if I can just weld, if I can weld nickel strip, say between the tabs like this on my pouch cells, man, that, that would save a bunch, bunch of time. All right, 30 joules. Man, that aluminum just does not like to be welded. It just, it blows holes in it. But it does, I mean, it coats it. There's like a coating of aluminum. Shit can't be easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. All right, so we're back. 0.15, back on our test base here. Uh, 1.5 by 8 millimeter at 30 joules. Yeah, this is this is a good spot welder. Uh, I, I would build I would build any pack with this and feel and be comfortable knowing that that it works. So we're gonna go up to forty. It really does. It gives you a good little amount of time before it goes off. So contact. So you can see what type of force it took to get that off of there. That was at 40. So let's do this. Let's take, let's take these regular 2200 milliamp batteries. Let's make our own 12 volt battery out of batteries that you wouldn't use to power the welder, right? So like I wouldn't use these, like they say 40. These are not. These are probably five amp at best. Draw so five. We'll do, tw you know, put these in series for uh, make a 3s battery, maybe 15 amps, and let's see if having incompatible batteries to run your welder, if it will give you enough amp draw to spot weld. So let's go ahead and find out is that the case. So definitely a battery like this that has a 200 amp rating will power the spot welder. So let's see if using inadequate battery to power your welder, if that makes any difference. 